So we slice most of our salmon by hand. Not many people do that now. Sometimes it becomes very expensive for us, but we would never dip on our quality. I'm Jason Basili. I am the managing director of Yin Salmon Tini. I've been in the business since I was maybe four years old. My father founded the company in 1994. He was trading smoked salmon in the 80s from Paris to Beirut. He went to Scotland where he learned how to smoke salmon on a small rock, the traditional way in the Shetlands. I think it's the first time that they'd ever seen an Arab go. <laughs> and then he started to import fresh fish into Beirut and smoke it there himself. He's a trained chef. He learned his trade in Paris. You can ask him about any item, any ingredient, any restaurant in the world and he has a story to tell you. He started a restaurant once in Beirut on a rock in the ocean. Plastic tables and chairs and a barbecue. I used to park the boats, they used to throw me the rope. I tie up the boat, my dad was on the barbecue. We grilled fish, nice drinks, have a good time throughout the summer. Dubai, we opened in Mall of the Emirates on the Kapinski side. For the smokehouse, we are in the middle of the world. We have direct flights all over the world. We are selling smoked salmon all over the region, in the GCC, in the Middle East, in Europe. So we're a central hub, so we're well located. We buy our fish from Scotland and from Norway. We are buying whole fish. We believe it keeps its freshness better. We take the fish and we make fillets. We do the salting process to give it its curing, where it sits for around 12 hours. And then it goes into the smoking process. The smoking process consists of not just smoke, but drying, where we pride ourselves on being on smokes for 18 to 24 hours. Slow uh, and a process, it's not rushed. Then once it comes out of the smoker, it goes in for cooling and resting, where it stays for a couple of days, really ab absorbing the flavor, drying out a little bit more. It's final stage, which we call the operation room, which, which you can see behind me, where the guys carefully go and hand slice. They take out uh, all the little things that we don't want, like the brown meat and the bloodline and things like that. In terms of the quality, it's checked by a guy's eye and it goes into vacuum and uh, shipped out. And the artistic side comes from my father where he puts his flair on each one of those techniques. He can really give our smoked salmon of character, makes it very different. Yeah, he puts his flair on lots of things he touches too, you can tell that in the restaurant. In terms of the restaurant is like our living room, you know, we are greeting guests like we're greeting them in our houses. There's always me and uh, my father there, there's always one of us there. We really want people to kind of feel welcome and that it like, gets an extension to their house too and they come to eat. That is not just based on atmosphere, it's based on really good quality food and people enjoying their time. We've had the same chef for 17 years. Most of our staff have, have been with us for at least 8 or 10 years, which is, I think, unheard of in hospitality. I have brand ambassadors all over the world that I don't know about. Every time I meet someone, oh, I love Samantini, I buy your stuff in Carrefour. It's my favorite restaurant. It's, it's very nice to hear these, these things over and over and over again. We do have very loyal customers and they're very proud, you know, like we have got restaurants right Salmentini on their menu. It's become more than a brand, it's become a symbol of equality. When another restaurant writes the brand name of the product next to it, it's, it's saying something. You know, I'm known as the salmon guy, my dad's known as the salmon king. Yeah, this, this is it for life for us, I guess. <laughs>